Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be taking you through a home workout that you can do with a kettlebell in 10 minutes. So this is gonna be targeting the lower body. We're gonna first start off with the kettlebell Romanian deadlift. So this is gonna be creating a foot, foot tripod, big toe, little toe, and heel grab in the floor. We're gonna ensure our knees are going out from the midline of our body. And we wanna have our hips swing back and keep the back relatively as straight as possible. Breathe in, brace the core, and it should look like this. Side view. We're gonna do this for 10 to 12 reps. Nice and slow on the way down. One, two, three, four. And really squeeze those glutes. Now I mentioned creating that foot tripod, so big toe, little toe, and heel digging into the ground and creating some torque to keep the knees away from the midline of the body, which will help further increase the glute engagement and work the hamstrings well. We wanna minimize using the lower back in this exercise, but it's a good one to just get warmed up. So after we've done that, we're gonna grab the, we're gonna take a little break here, just loosen up, grab the kettlebell up by the horns, hold it nice and close to the body. And we're gonna take deep breath in, brace our core, and we're gonna do a squat. So again, foot tripod, pushing the hips back and keeping the back as straight as possible. We're gonna keep a nice breathe and brace as we go through 10 to 12 reps. Only go to whatever depth you can get to. And if it puts too much pressure on your knees, maybe consider doing it on a squat or onto a couch and doing a box squat. And after we finish that, we're just gonna take a break for a quick second. We just did two exercises, so we're gonna do a little bit of a stretch. This is called a couch stretch. You can do this against a wall or whatever surface you got, but we're gonna put our foot up onto the couch. Use a yoga mat on your knee. We're gonna stand up nice and tall like this, squeezing that right glute, pushing the hips forwards. Just getting a nice little active stretch in there. Breathing and bracing, making sure that we keep our core tight. We don't want to, anytime we're stretching, we want to make sure that we keep our core engaged properly. We don't want to get into bad postural faults. So we're going to switch legs here now. Nice little stretch. And we're going to do another stretch and transition into an exercise. So just like that. Really stretching out this front quadricep. This is the couch stretch. One of the most effective stretches. If you have a bad squat pattern, this can help correct it. So next we're gonna get into a deep lunge and get this into a nice stretching position there. You can move around in this. We're just trying to create some nice looseness in the body as we progress into a stationary lunge exercise. So just like that stretched up. You can kind of feel hamstrings, quads, and everything all throughout this deep lunge stretch. What I like best about this is it's getting a large group of muscles and you can keep it as an active stretch. So it's something nice to do like in a workout, keeping yourself nice and warmed up. The best time to stretch. Just move it around a little bit in this position. Find where you're tight and camp out there. Whew. Next, we're gonna go into the stationary lunge. So get into that same position that you were just in, maybe a little bit closer than the deep lunge. We're gonna go down and make sure that we get a 90 degree angle. Breathe in and brace as you go down. If you need to hold on to some a supporting couch or anything in the house, you can feel free to do that. It does help out a little bit. Five. You can also swing that opposite arm up. Six, good, and we'll switch. One, two, just like that. Three, four, 
five, one more, and six, good. So we got a nice little stretch there. Now we're gonna get back into another stretch. This is a hip opener. So stand on one leg, open the hip up. We can do this to open the hip and then we can do in reverse too, but we'll start with the open. We just wanna get everything warmed up and moving, stretching. This is only 10 minutes, so trying to target a lot of things here. Not only are we doing exercise, but a little bit of mobility too and some core training and balance. Woo. So after that, we're gonna get back into the Romanian deadlift to work up our hamstrings and glutes a bit more. And if you're feeling like you wanna take it up to step number two, we can turn this into a kettlebell swing. So this is the Romanian deadlift. If we turn it into a kettlebell swing, that's the advanced movement we're gonna be doing here. With a kettlebell swing, it's a little bit wider stance, keeping the core nice and tight, just like that. But we can also go back into Romanian deadlifts, just like that. Whew. Again, you can choose whatever skill level you want to go with. We're going to roughly do this for about 30 seconds. A lot of these, you can pause it at any time if you want to do more exercise or less exercise if you need a break. This is meant to be done in around 10 minutes. So if you got like a lunch break out at work and you're working from home, you can hop out into the living room, get one of these workouts done real quick, and then, you know, get back to your day. You're going to feel a lot better, but this is really important if you're doing an office job because that couch stretch is gonna help unlock that hip position that we're commonly in by putting it into the opposite position. We're gonna go now into the squat again. You can use the kettlebell or use it without. If you're finding it's getting a little bit too heavy as your muscles are building up that lactic acid, feel free to do these without any weight. So back into the position, keeping that spine nice and straight, foot tripod, we're going to put the emphasis into the glutes, keep the core nice and tight. Just like that. And after you finish your squats, you can take a little bit of a break here and do some hip openers. Go into the deep lunge position if you want. We got about two minutes left, so we're gonna wind things down, get a little cool down in. Again, this is meant to be just pretty quick pace. Get it in, get it done, reap the benefits, and just feel good after moving. So <laughs> this can be a very difficult exercise for some people, but uh, you know, 10 minutes, you can go hard for 10 minutes and then it's done. So the final exercise that we're going to be doing is the Bulgarian split squat. So if you have a couch nearby, you can use the couch to be able to do this exercise, or you could use a bench. If you find a bench is a little bit more easy for you to use, uh, whatever you got around, if you don't have any of these nearby, you can do the lunge exercise. That is a very comparable exercise. So don't feel bad if you don't have a couch to do the exercise with. But what we're going to do is go into our position here, have the foot back against there. You can use weight or you can do it without weight. I'm going to go without because I'm already worked up a sweat. This is my second workout for the day. And we're just going to go through a similar to lunge position like that. You can use the weight in the opposite side to help work the glute medius, keeping the hip stable. Let's go for one more there. Switch legs. Bulgarian split squats are a really challenging exercise. So we're gonna finish strong. Just one, two, three, four. Find a spot on the floor. 
and focus on it. <laughs> the biggest trick with doing this exercise. Whew. Yeah, Bulgarian split squats are no joke. So to finish off, we can go into our lunge position and stretch it out. You know, give yourself a shake, go cool off, get a nice drink of water, get some protein. You know, if it's on your lunch break, you know, go eat your lunch, get some steak or chicken or anything like that, and you'll get your protein. So there it is, 10 minute workout you can do at home with a kettlebell. You can also do this without any equipment at all. This is all stuff you can do without. So hope you had a good workout. Thank you so much for watching.